Remember, there's some pretty important information here in the disclaimer. You might want to give the video a quick pause and read it. Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with a figure, uh, I guess this isn't a figure, this is a vehicle. It's a custom. It's a custom that I forgot I was doing. Okay, yeah, you ever, you ever like take on a project, do half of it, and then just kind of, you know, forget about it? That sort of happened to me. Um, I was just browsing around for 3D models and stuff when I found... Um, this 3D model of the tornado made by uh, Turbo Renegade on Thingiverse. Um, I gave it a quick test print um, in the default uh, size that it was when I first downloaded it. And, um, you know, it, it looked really good. Although in the default size, it was about the size of, um, you know, one of those little matchbox cars. Uh, a matchbox vehicle, I should say, because it's a plane, not a car. So I rescaled it. I gave it a wingspan of about six and a quarter inches. Well, the top wing would be six and a quarter inches. Uh, for context, that is about the size of the Lego biplane. Not, not the tornado, the Lego biplane. Although it did turn out being about the size of the tornado. We'll talk about that later. Um, and uh, then, you know, I printed it. Like, this took a long time to print. I think the main hull was like a full day print and it, it it's all one solid piece. Like uh, the whole fuselage, um, the wings, the tail fins, the cockpit, everything. It's all one piece. Um, and I really have to, to, to see what's wrong with my settings because when I print things, like these little bubbles keep showing up and my prints aren't so smooth and I keep on having to sculpt over like imperfections and flaws and I feel like like my printer didn't do this before like I changed something in the settings like when I got the new filament I had to change the heat settings and now I get these bubbles and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here like is my filament not hot enough or am I making it too hot I really need to see like I need, I need to do something about this because uh it took a long time for me to like, um, <clears throat> you know, smooth out all the flaws and imperfections, and you know, like it, it's not perfect. Like you can still kind of see the lumps, and I wasn't able to take care of some of the smaller bubbles because they were just too small to mash epoxy into. And I started painting it. I got as far as doing the bottom wing and part of the fuselage before I got called on to do a whole bunch of other projects, and I kind of forgot about it. I just sort of set it aside in the coffee table and forgot about it for like two months so uh um you know after my last custom I, I realized hey wait a minute i have this thing sitting on the coffee table i've been meaning to finish <clears throat> so i quickly did the rest of the paint job i used the uh the the 3d model from sonic adventure as the reference for the paint and um i do believe that turbo renegade actually used that 3d model as base too because this is damn near identical like, I compared all the facets of this thing. It's almost identical to the official 3D model. In fact, it really reminds me of the Papercraft Tornado, which is also based on that 3D model. But, like, um, you know, it's made out of plastic now, not paper. I don't have to worry about humidity making it mess up or accidentally crushing it. So, you know, that's all good. Um, so once I had the body painted, I... Uh, I also made these little decals, um, you know, they're just drawn out on a sheet of paper and then cut out the, the little tails for the back of the wings and for the tail fin. Oh, um, speaking of, uh, of, of small delicate things to paint, painting the word Sonic on the side of this thing was quite the pain. I tried to do it with a paintbrush, but I just couldn't keep the tip pointy enough. I had to use a toothpick and then it leaves like a spot in the middle if you had to do touch-ups. It's, it, trust me, it's just really hard to paint letters. Um... Now, there was just one thing that was missing. Um, well, you know, like, 
they have this thing which is like the decoration of the of the motor they have this thing which is the propeller of course and there's even this little tails um whose head is about the size of a lego minifigure so yeah this thing does pretty much scale to a lego kit um but there was no propeller shaft in the model like the i think you were like when you printed the model in the original size it came in um, a toothpick was the perfect size to make a propeller shaft out of. So that's probably what the what the original intent was. But, you know, printing it bigger, I needed a dowel. So I actually used Tinkercad to make my own propeller shaft that this thing can spin around. Um, and I, I had the idea of painting it with my bright yellow paint. And then um, when it dried, I painted over that with crazy glue uh, to create a glossy look. You know, to look like the container for the Chaos Emerald that he put in the nose cone of the plane. Um, although, like, I don't know why, but it seems that some dust or something got right on the tip of it. Because now there's this gray spot in the middle. I have no idea. How I, I, I tried to paint over it, but it just, like, came up. Like, I like, like I said, if it's not ochre yellow, it looks terrible. Any other kind of yellow is just terrible to work with. Um... So yeah, as you can see, I've been showing you the pictures of the completed thing for now. Um, and, uh, oh, a little bit of context. Here is this 3D printed tornado next to the Lego tornado. So you can see how they scale. Um, the wingspan is about the same, but the Lego one is way longer. Uh, like like I said, like the proportions for the, for the tornado from like the Genesis games is just really different. When you compare it to the proportions of the tornado from, you know, the Sonic Adventure game. Uh, so, yeah, just throwing that out there. So, yeah, like a big old 3D printed tornado, which is, uh, you know, about palm size. So, uh, thank you all for watching this video. This is Wake Angel 2001, signing off. Oh, hey everybody, it's me, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Just here to remind you that if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. And for even more amazing customs, don't forget to subscribe to Wake Angel 2001. Because between you and me, they're way past cool.